Hi there, and welcome to Draw With Me. And uh, thanks for coming up today, Thursday. We are in a different location than normal. We're in the Cool Pines, we are Pine Top, Arizona. The, yes, JJ is here with me. We uh, are taking a few days to escape from the... <laughs> the claustrophobia. The claustrophobia. Of being inside of a small house for... It's true. We were... We were Ten um, days. Both of us were infested with uh, COVID for a while. We're much better now. It was... We're 100%. We're back. We're 100%. We are. We're back. We are, um, you know, we're wiser for it. <laughs> we're wiser for we're it. We're never going to an indoor concert again. As you remember may, the yeah, last draw with me exactly. when we bragged about going to an indoor concert? As you may remember last Did time. Did you all we, snicker? Did we were you all snicker? saying like, hey, we went out to all these places. It was really great. And we went to concerts. And we went to restaurants. And we went to parties. And then we went to bed and we stayed. We didn't go home. to any parties. We didn't. Nope. It was all a party. Yeah. Life is a party for yeah, us 24 well. 7. So, anyway, <laughs> we got through it. It's fine. And we're here. Now, why, you may ask, is there a Guinness World Records thing there? Who could only know? Because I think that we are eligible to win the award for the most drawings of Luca Pacioli ever done. <laughs> and thankfully, everyone else drew the cool hoodie. Everybody everybody did do the full-on, like, the full Luca Pacioli thing, except for me. So therefore, you're better than me. You are. But I think I think that we should... Uh, if I don't know if anybody knows anybody at Guinness that could get us... I don't know if anybody drinks an enormous amount of Guinness and maybe has some kind of leverage as a result. But I think we should be winning, because, I mean, they give out world record thing for all kinds of ridiculous things. Yeah, Even but I when... think it's a whole application process. Okay. Well, I think we'd be better off just, like, moving on and drawing something else. All right. But I do think the pre-rolls just continue just to get better and better. A man can dream. A man can dream. <laughs> yes, it's true. I think, I mean, if you're new to draw with me, maybe you are, you're probably thinking, like, oh, that's really cool that all these people do that. But this has taken years of arm twisting and dragging people out of the scruff of the neck to share their work. And now you see why I've been so adamant about it, because it's super cool to see hundreds of Luca Pacioli's showing up on the screen. And today is going to be about coffee and a little bit of tea. It's going to be about coffee and a little bit of tea. Because we basically drink tea. Yeah, so it's, so it's both things, and that's what we're going to be doing. So... If you're not a coffee drinker and you're not a tea drinker, it's it's heated beverage. It's beverages. Morning it's, beverage. It's morning beverage. Morning beverages. Yeah. If you don't hydrate at all in the morning, then I'm worried about you. And so if you wanted to just draw a glass of water or uh, whatever, you think of it. You think about what you want to do, but we're gonna focus on coffee and a bit of tea. Now, you may remember that last September we did a magnificent episode <laughs> in which I explained the correct way to make cappuccino. <laughs> this is going to be a, this is not going to be a, a recreation of that <clears throat> historic event, but it is going to be, it's going to be fun. Remember the microwave. So here we are, we're here in an undisclosed location and yeah, we're in Pine Top, Arizona. <sighs> In the White Mountains of Arizona. Would you like to give the uh, the GPS coordinates for yeah, where we sure. are? Yeah, sure. I wouldn't mind if some people wanted to come by. Anyway, we're here. And as so often happens when you go on a trip, particularly if you're distracted, you scramble and you're like, oh, no. Halfway down the road, you suddenly remember, oh, I didn't pack a hoodie. Oh, I didn't pack three-quarters of the things that I need. So... I thought you were going to say you get to the place where you're going and the Wi-Fi doesn't work. Okay, so <laughs> we arrived here last night. We're staying with... Our friends have been very nice to, to invite us here. And the Wi-Fi didn't work. And then this morning, irony of ironies, the coffee machine didn't work. <laughs> so here we are. Tribute to coffee without a coffee machine. But nonetheless, we've persevered. We've been creative. We've figured out things to do so that it's all going to be great. And we're also not, we don't have the usual cameras, lights. We don't have all the 
hair and makeup people. I'm back to being a disembodied voice <laughs> off we've, camera. We've moved JJ as a distraction off camera. Um, and so, yeah, so this is not going to be necessarily the primo highest quality production, but it's nonetheless going to be an extraordinarily entertaining and educational event. Are you going to talk about the cappuccino book? I am. So here's the motivation or the inspiration for, for doing this today, which is the cappuccino book from Hanamula, which is not made of cappuccino. 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 I'm using the German pronunciation, cappuccino, or is that the... That's, <laughs> I don't know what I think that's pronunciation the, that is, but I, I know you the, shouldn't use it. That's the Roman pronunciation, <laughs> cappuccino. The cappuccino is um, a, a toned paper sketchbook, and it comes in a couple different sizes. The larger size is the one that we're going to be giving away. Hanumul is giving us how many? Three. Three cappuccino books to give away. And they are super cool. And uh, it's not made of cappuccino, so I'm sorry, Juniper. It's not, but because that would be actually kind of cool because you could rip a page out of the book, stick it into a cup with some hot water, add a little bit of coffee and some steamed milk, and you'd have a cappuccino. That's basically the way you made it sound like you made a cappuccino the last time we did this session. True. Stick it in the microwave. Bingo. All right. Let's not recreate that <clears throat> event. So anyway, so write to info at sketchbookschool.com and tell us that you would like this book. Okay, I have an, a, a, an announcement. Hold on, there's an, there's, an, there's an amendment to this. I did go to the post office box yesterday. Yes, you did. People yeah. have started sending quite charming entries. And tasty. To win. And tasty. Well, no, the, well. We got, the, we got yeah, one thing. One you solicited for snacks, but the, just people writing to say they would like to win a sketchbook. It's definitely a They plus. have a competitive edge. Right. So they have a competitive so edge. So now we have to start giving out the P.O. box. I, I'm happy to give out the P.O. box. Okay, we'll put the P.O. box in the comments and we'll add it to the thing below. If you, if you would prefer to do an analog experience, if you want to send us a cup of... I mean, I always say the mission Chino. is you've got to, like, delight me somehow. You know, JJ is tell tough. You, I've been trying for years. It, <laughs> It, it is delightful to get. I got a few different notes that were. Yes, um, you got some nice stationary work. week, you know, or stationary national. It's true. Anyway, there were cool, brilliant looking papers. We got. It was like it was a, a party. Nice it was a party in the PO box. We got a lot of nice stuff, and the PO box makes us happy. So anyway, and we got one cake, only one. <laughs> but it was and very not, good. But she's not going to win it was anyway because she's already very won. Good cake. Now, are we? No. We, are we thinking no. about changing this? No, we're not rules? thinking about it. I we were lobbying. Some of us on the team were lobbying for allowing winners to come to reapply. To reapply. Look, Hanamula really wants like as many people as possible to get these samples. But so, these, but, but if, yes. if you want, Hanamula before, wants Hanamula, Hanamula wants the whole world using cappuccino sketchbooks, as do we. So, anyway. Anyway, well, if you've won or not, you can write in. But U.S. only. It, yeah, That's yes. no, not going to change. It's true. And it doesn't say that here, and I apologize for that. It should have said U.S. only for now. For now, U.S. only because we're sponsored by Honolulu USA. But Honolulu USA has territorial ambitions, and they may... No, why are you saying this? They may one day become Honolulu North America, Honolulu... Just stop. Just stop. Move on. The entire, <laughs> the entire continent. We're going to have, like... But for now, it's only Canadians United States. sending me emails saying, "Please." We love Canadians, we and love one day, Canadians. one day we, we will do something for you. We're sorry about the exchange rate, and we're no. very, very sorry. There is sorry. a Canadian opportunity on the horizon that, that we will be. We're trying. Soon. We are working on it, but yes. don't make promises that we may not yes. be able to honor. So we apologize, but it's, we think of the Canadians. It's, and it's not because we don't like you. We love you. I, I, I quite like you. Oh my goodness. So, Danny, move on. Right, You're so, digging yourself. All right, we're in. moving on. So it's Let's um, draw. Let's draw. Let's get on let's with draw. it. Let's draw. So we're gonna start with just let's start with just oh, so here's another what's going on here? Um the pencil sharpener problem? No, it was the it was the here it is. It was the camera problem. Okay. So I'm gonna be using um I'm gonna start using a mechanical pencil. You've gone mad for pencils lately. So this the is strangest this thing, is 2022. This is the Rolls Royce of mechanical pencils. It's not. I'm not. It's not sponsored. I was just given it, and I just love this thing. The Graph Gear 1000. Even the name. Is it Zebra? No, it's Pentel. 
Is it Pentel Arts? No, it's just Pentel. Interesting. So it's got this, I mean, it is, this is nice. But that doesn't matter. You could, you could use any old thing. There's no racer. Point that out. Uh, actually. Oh, oh, oh. All right, well, you're not going to use the eraser. There's an eraser, but no, I don't use it. Although it does look suspiciously like it's been used, it hasn't. Uh, okay, so we're working today without reference. We're just kind of making stuff up. So let's start with drawing some coffee beans. So I'm going to just cover this page with little things, and I'm going to use this toned paper. Unfortunately, I don't have extraordinarily good light here, but um, hopefully you will see. It's good enough. It's good enough. So I'm just going to draw some random beans. Just a few beans. Ooh, you know what? Uh, how about this? Hey now! Oh, wow, we had a production assistant just turn on an overhead yeah, light. Thank you, okay. Amy. Thank you, Amy. So here, so, you know, coffee beans are just basically little ovals with sort of jiggly bits in the middle. Um, jiggly bits in the middle? I, that's not what I meant. <laughs> they don't, I wish they had jiggly bits in the middle, but they don't. <laughs> Stop talking they, about my belly like sorry, that. Sorry, they just have... <laughs> Just a little it's kind of zipper down there. So yeah, so there's beans, and then, you know, there might be decaf beans. Decaf beans tend to look a little bit different. I wouldn't I wouldn't say that. Sometimes they're shinier. Okay. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm so yes, so difference. we're we're sort of half kaffers. JJ's actually not allowed <coughs> to drink coffee because uh, she's insane. Why don't you, <laughs> do you want to explain why you can't drink coffee? I mean, I've thought... I'm drank coffee and it went right down the hatch but you did an the booby inter intervention the one day and said yeah. i was scaring people yeah she tends caffeine it's just too much energy it's like an electric car that you're filling the gas tank with <laughs> it's just unnecessary so so yeah so okay so there we go we just got some beans a lot yeah. of people love it on pencil people like pencil here i'm gonna if you like that pencil i'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, colored pencil too so yeah, we've got the whole the whole thing going. And then if you wanted where, to... Where is this page going to go? Do you want to give people some insights about... The I'm just thinking of lots of different coffee-related stuff. I love the look of this paper, this tone paper, with different kinds of notation stuff. To me, it's really a nice, like a, like a notebook-y kind of feeling. Mm -hmm. So... Um, yeah, because it's not it's 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 basically drawing paper. This is not the kind of paper that you would use wet media on. So I just like to use, um, you know, I just like to use it for sort of something that feels like a like a notebook, like a like an explorer's notebook or a scientific notebook. That's my thought. So yeah, so I'm gonna have some beans, and then um, what else? I think. Let's explore some different ways in which one might, different coffee Vessels? making, Vessels? coffee oh. making, yeah. Oh, apparatus. is it pour over? Yeah, pour over is, is, is the term that people now use for this thing. Chemex? So, yeah, Chemex is more, and I remember this from like when I was a kid, like in the 70s. This was very much the thing in those days, right? So it's like, it's sort of a glass, an hourglass kind of thing with this sort of interesting two bits of wood that are the protect the, it from being from burning your hands and then it has like a little couple of little balls with a rawhide thing it's a very 70s swedish you know looking thing and um yeah so maybe we could fill it with a little bit of coffee put in some coffee maybe some dark coffee and uh We've got that kind of thing going on. And then um, maybe a little bit of wood color. Wood, this is a wood colored pencil. <laughs> is it, it's is a technical it? term. <laughs> if, you're, if you find that difficult, that, challenging. That area is usually cork. Cork, I guess it is, not yeah, wood, right? It's cork. I mean, yeah, if it was wood, right. that would be. No, it's, it's the balls that are wood, <clears throat> but it's the thing that's cork. You're right, absolutely right. And that's the problem with not having reference oh, and right. not even having a coffee maker anywhere near you. Well, and not having consumed quite enough coffee to be firing on all cylinders. That's true. <clears throat> that's true. We did get a little coffee from a, a place nearby. But there, so that's, that's sort of a Chemex thing. What other kinds of ways do you make coffee? How about 
the French press. That's how we do it. Yeah. Well, we sometimes do, we have we do have one of these pour over things. You're more of a fan of the French press. I right? am a purist. Not oh, really. So it's basically a, a glass cylinder, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. The and then it has, um, it, it's like a beaker, really. And then it has the sort of metal apparatus that grips it. Twiggy. Is that Twiggy whining over there? I don't know. I think she's. And then it has little I think feet. People are like playing. There's little feet. Little feet like that. And it's glass, so it's see-through. But we could put a little coffee in there. Maybe it's a, a lighter brew. Twig, twig, stop it. Stop. And then of course it has this um, the the stomper thing that goes. The stomper. The you know, plunge. Pl the plunger that goes through. And I mean, I'm doing this from memory, and I'm not doing it terribly well. But yeah, it's sort of like that, and this is, put a bit of highlights in there, because it's chrome, and then this thing is sort of black. If I'm wrong about any of this, keep it to yourself. <laughs> All right, so that's another thing. And then um, the thing that people tend to be using these days more than anything is these Keurig. That was the thing that let us down this morning. Yeah, so we don't, we've never really had one of these Keurig things, but it's sort of like these little pods that are made of plastic, kind of, and yeah. then they have like a Environmentally foil. not too friendly. And then, they uh, seem to be in every like let's rental. Not, let's not be cast dispersions. <clears throat> I'm not. These are very popular, a lot of people like them. Well. And, um, you yeah, know, that's fine. Whatever you want to do. But we sat and listened to this, oh. arth this sort of arthritic, wheezing. tuberculous. <laughs> it was wheezing and and then it spit. It like, wheezed it, for like ten minutes and then spit out. Spit out literally three drops yeah, of water. It was three really, droplets. It was. It clearly had like prostate issues. A lot of things were going on with it, and none of it resulted in coffee. No coffee. So that's that's yet another form of this. Um, yes. So. Are you looking at these comments? Because apparently, this, I, I had to pick Twiglet up because yeah, there's, there's some comments that I'm not responding to. Okay, I'll look at so. comments. Uh, okay, so good. So then, what else do we have now? Another thing that we have at home, which we don't have here, is a grinder. Which is, and I, I mean, recently we saw I would say we exclusively make coffee from beans. Yeah, we don't mess with that pre-ground stuff. We've we've tried it. It's fine. Honestly, here's the irony of this whole conversation. I'm perfectly fine with any kind of coffee. I don't really care. I'm perfectly fine with going to a diner and drinking like coffee Dishwater. that was made like 11 hours ago. It's all fine with me. But because I'm a quasi hipster and it is 2022, we have to go through all the machinations of, you know, having all these things that one has. So yeah, and so we have a little coffee grinder and we grind the coffee. A manual grinder? That might be a step too far, no, Steve. No, 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 no. Then there's all the things with burrs and I, I just recently was reading a thing in the New York Times where they were recommending this coffee grinder and it turned out that it cost like $300. <laughs> I said, really? Because $300 on a coffee grinder, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, but probably... yeah, but the one that we have is fine and it has... What, do you know what brand it is? It's, I think it's, it's some German. It's Braun or something Braun, like that. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. So anyway, there's that. And then recently we also got a coffee, a milk steamer. It's a frother. Frother, yeah. And it's I'm electric. Trying to, I'm trying to remember what I it looks like. I think your sister gave it to you, right? My sister gave it to me, and it's basically... It looks kind of like the French press, It's like frankly. Yeah, it's like another thing, and then it has a heater in the bottom because it's electric. It has like a little coil. And it has a coil that rotates and spins stuff around like that. And then, uh, yeah. And it froths up your milk pretty well. I can't remember. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. I can't remember. Yeah, it yeah, is. It's clear. But it, it has a, it like has a dark a mini base. French press. It has a dark base. So, yeah. So, that's another piece, sort of a 
part of the whole nonsense of making elaborate coffee. I'm still fine with just throwing it into the microwave uh, or failing that. <laughs> failing that, just drinking it cold, whatever. But, you know, so there's that. What else do we have in this thing? I mean, Valvino, remember, are you, do, are do you asking about this kind of pencil? We'll have to clarify. Um, okay, so what next do we have? Then, then I wanted to just give a testament to take out coffee, which is probably the best that there is. Although, I don't know if anybody else saw this. There was an article in the New York Times today about some study that they've done that says that life expectancy of coffee drinkers in this particular study was increased 30%. That people who drank coffee had 30% higher life expectancy during the study. It's a bit unclear to me, because like, what does that mean exactly? I don't know. I feel like tomorrow we'll see a study about coffee gives you heart disease. I mean... Can one ever trust such propaganda? I've heard that skepticism and cynicism uh, decrease your longevity. <laughs> a recent study I'm said. I'm going to die bitter and old. Don't but, even... Like my coffee. That's just charming. Anyway, so, so there's this... I mean, I'm fine with this kind of coffee. But they were saying in there that it's... The real issue is sugar. The people go and they and they go and buy like some frappuccino nonsense, and you know it's like twenty five grams of co of sugar, and that's really the issue. It's not the coffee. The coffee is good, and uh, they don't know why it increase. They they say it increases your antioxidants. Yeah. It's all good. I buy it. Uh, Turkish coffee creatrix brings up yes. In fact, my sister gave me this whole when she gave me the steamer. She gave me this whole coffee kind of thing. I forgot about that. It's, which is like it's, it's copper. copper. It's copper. It's beautiful. Yeah, and it has like a hammered. hand. It's a handle and you put it in and I But it's spent, hammered with like a little Yeah, yeah it has like a like, like little little I spent glasses. a lot of time working making it and it turned out that it was like it just what you end up getting was kind of like Turkish coffee, which is basically like eating like a couple of tablespoons of mud and some, some <laughs> reasonably overly strong coffee. It got me really wired. I felt like so sort of sick afterwards. So I don't know. I, I like mean, the like, I like the protocol. You yeah. like the dairy, you know. I like I some half you, and half. Yeah, and I was thinking fine. you basically drink coffee in order to have half and half. It, it's true. This is it Speaking is. Speaking of iced coffee. Yes, and then recently I've become lazier and lazier, Vicky, with summer coming on, and I'll just drink cold brew a can of cold brew from costco it's kind Kirkland of Kirkland cold brew Kirkland. it's i mean it sounds i mean if you're a coffee aficionado this is probably it is cold this brew, is but the other equivalent than, of the cow you drove you drew the last time <laughs> so yes it's I, I i think that a coffee snob would not but it is cold brew it's not just iced coffee whatever that means so yeah it's something it's something there's that. Um, what else? Maybe for the sake of interest, I should draw, just because it's fun to draw, a carton of milk. Do you like drawing cartons of milk? I mean, wouldn't you call it half and half? I, mean, I might. In my case, I might, because I like a bit of half and half. Should we talk about the Ricky Gervais special? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. No. There are a lot of parts of the Ricky Gervais special that are not suitable for work uh, yeah. or YouTube, but he does talk about if you're just a little chubby, as I would say we both are, Speak for yourself. It means you're like living life well, like you're eating and drinking all this stuff. And I think we... Uh... He said, yeah, I'm fat. I know I'm fat because I eat and drink a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, that makes sense. So there we have a little... So this, this, this part of the carton is really interesting to figure out because it's sort of a soft focus soft uh, shadow in there and then, you, and then you have the bend I like that and then uh, I'm gonna draw like a little seal with a maybe a cow's head in it a little cow in there two good lettering Oh my gosh, my stomach is rumbling, just even thinking about foodies. <laughs> All right, so 
let's have a look. I mean, this is not a Are bad. Are you going to do lettering? Yeah, so this is not a bad little page of like coffee ephemera, effluvia. Uh, I think you need a that? mug. Oh, of course, yes. I do need, need a mug. Um, that's absolutely true. So there's, there's this sort of, this kind of coffee, classic coffee mug, which is, which is kind of taller and thinner, right? And then there's this sort of more straight-sided coffee mug. And always remember, the bottom of your coffee mug is an arc that's very similar to the arc at the top of your coffee mug. So don't give it a flat bottom. One of the things I was really looking forward to with doing this particular subject was I was looking forward to this very particular thing, which is to use the brown of the cappuccino paper as the surface of the coffee. I don't know, that was the thing that literally I was lying awake at night a couple nights ago thinking about how much I would like this very thing. But now that I'm doing it, it's pretty fun, but it's not kind of the well, sort of thing you wake up in the middle of. This arc? Yeah, yeah. It's, well, on camera, it's barely. Yeah, you can barely see it. Exactly, because it's too small. It's like a demi toss. Yeah, let me see if I can zoom in on it anymore. I don't think that's really the solution. See what I'm saying? See how the the the, the paper color is the coffee. Come on now. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. That was what I dreamt about. Do you ever have that where you like wake up in the middle of the night or you dream about it? certain drawing thing and then you go and do it and it may or may not be as good. I do. All right, so there's a page of uh, stuff. Yes, some people see it. So there's a page and then, you know, normally I would do this with a dip pen, but I'm not, I don't have a dip pen. And also this cappuccino paper isn't really for that, but we could do, um, we could just write some stuff. Plastic. What are these things called? Um, what are you pointing to? Um, the net Keurig. Keurig thing. Plastic. It's called a pellet. No. I think it's called a cap cap capsule. 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 I mean, just the fact that it's a, called a, a plastic capsule doesn't sound inviting, right? I and mean, I think I read that the guy who invented the whole getup regrets doing so. But a lot of people like him. Grinder. Pan for the convenience. Frother. And, uh, what else? Uh, oh, people commented what the Turkish thing was. I'm going to have to look back in the comments. People knew what to call that thing. Full bore milk. What do you call that? Like, not, oh not like 1% milk or that kind of thing. Okay, um, the copper thing is... C E Z V E. C C E Z V E. It or is. another thing with more consonants than vowels. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. D J E L L E B A. Okay, I'll take your word for it. I wrote down one of those versions just because <clears throat> it's kind of an interesting scrabble Maybe. word. Yeah. <laughs> you could definitely win scrabble with that. Uh, French resin, what is this other thing called? A Chemex. Also not a great word for food. Chemex? Not great. All right, so those are some varieties. And I think we have time to... Did you get the steamer? Yes, the frother. Oh, yeah, yeah, got that. Yeah. But I'm thinking... Um, we have time to do some tea. What do you think? I'm into tea. Let's work, you know on, some, tea. Let's work on tea. So we, people know that your son's middle name. Is, they're about to. Yeah. So my son, I, my son's middle name, his first name is Jack. His last name is appropriately Gregory, and his uh, his middle name is T T E A. So he's the only Jack T Gregory there is. The only one. There might be some that have the initial T. 
but nobody has the actual word. So, all right, so now tea, unlike coffee, I'm extremely fussy about tea. Right? There's, de there's definitely lots of rules about tea making because tea you just don't mess around with. But tea is tea is just much more much more important in a lot of ways to me at least. Well, tea. I mean you're British. Yeah, it might be that. I mean, I think it's I think ba a bad cup of tea is just and and here's the thing, America, I love you. You just don't understand tea. I don't know if it's like a political thing that goes back to the Boston Tea Party. Americans think that tea is medicine. What? You mean it's like herbal all, tea? It's all medicinal. Like it's, I take it because I need to relax. I take it to help me sleep. I take it for my digestion like to build my immune system. It's like, it's a cup of tea, man. A cuppa. It's a cuppa. So, and that's the problem. It's like, because of that, it's, and I know, I'm sure I can imagine the comments are already going to start flaring people up. People are voting for PG Tips, which is the only tea we have in our house. Yeah, so PG Tips, I mean, there's there are others, but PG Tips is, and another thing about tea is, it is good to switch your brand, alternate brands. You know, we, we, don't, we don't do that. I know, but we should be. No way. Yes, it's true. So you get sick. So tea is, um, tea is a plant, obviously, and the tea leaves... Like green tea, white tea, all those kinds of teas are just teas at different stages of when they're picked. I'm personally a black tea. I like it's black tea or nothing. The green tea, it's just, again, part of this medicinal thing. It just has no flavor. But black tea is where it's at, man. And there's a thing called rooibos that isn't actually tea, but I like it. It's South African. Rooibos is Afrikaans for red bush. And if you like a nice cup of black tea, but you don't want caffeine, don't buy decaf tea. It's a nightmare. Buy rooibos. <laughs> rooibos is delicious. It's a slightly different taste, but it's the same kind of impact. No caffeine. It, it, like, it's not because it's decaffeinated. It's because it just has no caffeine. And you can drink that stuff night and day. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful discovery. I really like it. No, now, I'm not a fan. Here's the thing about, I don't know if you know the history of tea. Do you know the history of tea? Like, how did how did people start drinking tea? Do you know? No. I think I do. At least I know the apocryphal story. And that is that the Chinese liked to drink hot water. Have you ever had, a, like, a cup of hot water? For sure. Right? It tastes better than just, like, a regular I cup. I love hot right? water. Yeah, hot water is nice. It warms you from the inside out. Hot water is nice. And so the story is that the emperor was... Um, enjoying a cup of hot water and he's sitting under a bush it happened to be a tea bush and um, some tea leaves supposedly drifted into his cup and then he said oh that's a nice cup of tea this is garbage and this is a true story so this is at least that's the historical record says that this is the case. Now, I, I'm a little skeptical just because if you've ever looked at a tea bush, it's not actually a bush. It's like little plants that are growing on the ground. Like you couldn't sit underneath a, a bush. There isn't a bush. It's, there's no bush involved. It's bushless. Maybe a breeze. But that's a story. Maybe So maybe some leaves kind of blew off one of these plants that were growing there for no good reason. Like why were they growing there exactly? You don't know. But yeah. People are loving on the rooibos. Oh, Carol Boss is here. Carol Boss. Welcome, Carol. Carol is so, the giver of the goods. Carol is our friend from Honolulu. So, all right, so here we have, this is the Chinese emperor representing. Okay, so here's the standard sort of black tea experience in America. It is the Lipton tea bag. I mean, we drink tons of Lipton iced tea. Okay, but this is just a regular Lipton tea bag. You've probably gotten it. It's in that kind of envelope thing. And then there's a little staple to the tag and it has a string. And then you open it, right? And you're happy. And you pull out a tea bag. It's a pretty good tea bag. It's not a great tea I bag, mean, but it's fine. it's the best for iced tea. It's fine. Although we now buy the gallon size sachets. We do. Sachets? Sachets? Sachets. Yeah, because we make but we buy tea, we buy, tea and we buy PG chips juggle. by the giant box yeah. of like 100 and something tea bags and we go through it on a regular basis. So so there's that. And then um, Barry's, yeah, Barry's is pretty good. It's Irish tea. Uh, I think that's not bad. I've got some other people throwing in some other things. But then 
Thistle says jasmine green is my favorite. Jasmine green, that's not tea. I don't know what it is. I mean, like, green tea like, is tea, as you, whatever. It's not your preference. It's not a thing. It's, it, I don't know. It's like what Sanka freeze-dried crystals in a jar from the 80s would be compared to what some hipster's version of a pour over would be. You know what? I'm into green tea. I'm down for jasmine green tea. The only tea-related thing that is an absolute atrocity Boba. Oh. What the heck? I mean, yeah, she doesn't like it's boba. It's like a nightmare. I don't even like to drink orange. But so here I'm going to do this cappuccino. Tea with boba? The cappuccino you paper kidding? thing I was again fantasizing about. I'm doing it again here with this t t this cup with a bit of Lipton tea bag sticking in it. But again, I'm going to do that business with just letting the paper be that little hint of color. I'm excited by that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so um, what else? But let, now let's talk about loose tea. I just remembered another tea we like, that Typhoon. Typhoon is not bad. Yeah, yeah we like that. So then um, let's draw a, a, a tea strainer. A tea ball? Well, like no, a... I'm talking about a tea strainer. So when you make a pot of tea <clears throat> and you use loose tea, and then you put it in a pot, and then when you serve it, you need a tea strainer, so you don't have a cup full of leaves. So that's a tea strainer. Sort of a metal mesh thing. And then there are those tea balls, which are, eh, they're okay. And they have like a little hook, and a chain. It's a sort of medieval looking thing. It has... <laughs> it's like a mace. Exactly. It's like a mace for Twiggy. These things are, I don't know, my main experience with them is that they're really a pain to they unscrew. Always leak. They always leak. They're cheap. Right. You they're get, cheap and nasty. Or you're like trying to unscrew it, and, or you're trying to screw it together, and tea leaves are going over. It's just a lot of trouble. Although recently I did find those things where you can make your own tea bag. So it's like a little kind of sock. Yeah. And you put well, the you tea used to do that with your rooibos. Yeah. Yeah, Back in the uh, before I found Roybush tea bags, yeah. I would have to make my own Roybush tea bags, which was a bit of a pain. But yeah, I would do that. Okay, um, what else? Teapot with cozy. Yes, so teapot. Yes, I have a teapot. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle. We don't really have Here a good teapot anymore. Spot. Yeah, we do. It's just in the cupboard. Teapot is very nice, and honestly, it's it's the best kind of tea. It does take. You have to be careful though, because it, it will get very strong pretty quickly, right? You can always just add a bit of hot water. This is my new. Is it this? Is this one? The Acarel. I have a new pencil that I've been quite fond of. Is it the Prisma color? I like this Acarel. Very nice and white. There we go. And you know, there's a thing that I'm quite fond of, which is called corni uh, Cornish ware. What? Cornish ware. So Cornish ware is, it is, um, they still make it, and it's uh, a type of English crockery that has stripes, traditionally blue and oh, white stripes. Oh, yeah, now I remember. So... Yeah, so this is actually not the right blue. But it seems more like a coffee cup than a tea no, cup. No, no, no. What? I mean, it's a mug, cup, but you can get no, saucer. No, you can get that. You can get you can get um, you can get all kinds. You can get teapots. You can get all kinds of things. But they were sold out. They were. They didn't have the one that I wanted when I recently went to go and buy some. But they're also not. The, they're not thin like you like them. You like a very thin cup. I like a thin cup because I have tennis elbow. Can't lift a heavy cup. That's true. So there, that's that's Cornish ware. Um, Cornish ware, yeah. And then, uh, oh, so then also let's let's put a let's have, make a nice little. What about a cozy? That's what I'm making now. Is a tea cozy. Those are the cutest things. Ever. Tea cozy. So tea cozy is sort of like a little 
overcoat for your teapot. It's like crocheted, right? It can be. I have had quilted ones. And so you just you just have your, you know, your spout and your handle sticking out, and then you have. I'm going to make this one sort of be a little quilted. But then it could have uh, flowers on it, let's say. What about for the Queen's, what is it, Diamond Jubilee? Yeah. Put like a little corgi on it. Oh, Twiggy. Oh, a little pug. Is that what you prefer, Puggy? Puggy oh, was offended when I talked about the corgis. There you go. So that's like a little thing of Bob. And I guess we should draw a classic teacup. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> like considering nice how many times you've drawn this particular teacup. Well, I'm going to draw a different kind of teacup, which is okay. the very, very wide open teacup that's sort of more the classic, which I find the tea gets cold pretty quickly. But um, this will be another opportunity to use the cappuccino paper for my favorite effect. And. Uh, And then maybe throw in a little bit of tone. You don't have any other colored pencil. You really didn't bring too many art supplies. I did. I have some other colored that. pencils. I just I'm trying to keep it kind of monochromatic. So yeah, and um, I think that's pretty good. I think that's a pretty good exploration. So we've got uh, we've you got. You didn't make iced tea. Oh, that's true. And we didn't make sun tea. So we well, should that's what I'm talking about. So let's make a, a sun tea jar. So once during COVID. From Costco.com, I got an enormous jar of pickles, like enormous, like a couple of gallons worth of pickles. Anyway, this is the jar we use to make sun tea. It's, 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 how come you're able to pick that up? Will. Actually, I cradle it in both arms. I don't use just, That's true. yeah, this precious cargo. Our, d our daily liquid gold. It has a sort of somewhat disgusting tea bag. I used to have a real phobia. I, I, I have one of my few aversions was a wet tea bag, and this thing, a giant wet tea bag, really repulsive. But um, wet paper towel. Yeah. Wet paper towels is another thing, and I, I've trained myself to overcome this. Really, I mean, it's the kind of thing where I would. Like feel like gagging and possibly throwing up just from the sight of it. So. What a drama thing! Yeah, so there's that, and then um, and then let's just draw a nice glass of iced tea too. Why not? How are you gonna do those ice cubes? I'm going to. As you know, for me, it's all about the ice, ice, ice baby. You see what I, if you've never drawn on tone paper, I really recommend it because you have the tone, you have one color, then you draw with second color, and then, um, you know, you just, it's just much more interesting than on the white paper for certain kinds of, of things. And then you also get this effect of, I think, a very nice sort of journal y kind of thing. Um, origins. Story, <laughs> and then we have a, a Lipton Lipton tea bag. Let's just like write some verbiage on it. And we have a nice cup of tea there. Cuppa. This would just be a. This is a cup of Lipton though. We used to do commercials for Lipton tea. What is this thing called? It's called a tea ball. Tea ball. Or mace. And then this is a si uh, strainer. strainer. Tea strainer. Do you think we have a little COVID brain? We have a teapot. I'm a little teapot. And then we have a cozy. Short and stout. And over here we have Cornish ware. Have you ever had a Cornish biscuit? Is that what they're called? No, yeah. Yeah, it's a kind of cracker. I, a pasty. Cornish pasty, we've had that. Yeah, no, Those that's not what I'm talking about. I'm so hungry right now. Somebody's asking about your mechanical pencil again, which you. All right, let me bring this pencil pencil back here. It is the Graph Gear 1000 Pentel. It's a seven. 
It's a fine thing. So here we have it. A whole page of... So you see, the thing about this kind of an exercise, I hope you're appreciating when you see it all. I've got this camera now in front of your mug. I know. So the thing about this is, it's all about lots of little drawings, right? So these are lots of little drawings. Are any of them particularly great drawings? Doesn't, that's not really the point. The point is, it's about having this whole page. Collections. A collection, exactly. And there's something about the energy that they give off where they are kind of interacting with each other, the negative space between them, all these things. And then, you know, then I have a little space here where I could write a little sort of thing about heated beverages. Or I could write the big words heated beverages. Or I could fill in some more tea-related stuff. But you can make a collection about just about anything. Yeah. So you could take anything. You could take... Uh, you know, brushing your teeth, and you could do a whole collection like this. You could do maintaining a car. You could do your travel to work, and you could talk about all the different things that you know that you use that that relate to that particular story. But it's it's telling a story in lots of little details, and together it's very pleasing. And then you know you could put put a frame around this. You could do some embellishments. You could write more. I mean, I've done this fairly quickly, but I think it's really like a like a, a great way to also strain your brain a little bit and try to remember, like, how what does a Chemex look like? Like, I'm sure if I look at a real Chemex, it's maybe not this. I didn't get the proportions quite right. That's fine. This, But this is, again, tricking, training your brain to recall details and to think about materials and to think about the component parts of stuff so that you train yourself to go from just... drawing what you see to seeing details and moving beyond. You know what else is cappuccino color? Yeah, the cappuccino color dog here. <laughs> Get this creature off me. I did want to show you, share one treat with you before we go. When I was small, I lived in Pakistan. I've talked a bit about that in the past. And I um, particularly appeared from when I was about eight and a half until I was 10. I lived with my grandparents for an extended period. And we had a television. It was the first time I'd ever lived in a house that had a television. It was a small black and white TV. And as you can imagine, Pakistani television broadcasting was a limited thing. Those, in those days, television was often just a few hours a day. I think we had a TV for like three or four hours of programming. And, but there was a couple of commercials and tea commercials in particular are things that have always pleased me. There's a whole campaign that's gone on for, in England for a really long time. I think it's for Tetley Tea, I want to say. Can't remember which it is. But it's uh, a group of monkeys, chimpanzees. And they act things out. So they'll act like being, uh, you know, running a store or moving a piano and various other things. And the reward always is a nice cup of tea. So... I have a lot of kind of nostalgic memories for these TV commercials about tea. But this particular thing I want to share with you is um, tea, everybody's saying, telling me different things that it's PG tips, that it's Tetley, that it's Twinings. Apparently, it is PG tips. Okay. At least PG tips has gotten several different votes now. Um, so there was a commercial that I remember seeing when I was nine years old. In Urdu, Urdu is a language that they speak in Pakistan, and I've memorized this commercial. I memorized it when I was nine. It's a little story of a woman who comes to a store and wants to buy some tea, and she has a conversation with the clerk there, and they talk briefly about tea. And it's actually all done as a musical. And it's just one of those things from when I was a child that I just Remember, chai chai ye, kon si janab, lipton undaye, lipton lijiye, lipton tijiye. Those are the lyrics of the song stuck in my mind. And uh, the miracle of YouTube recently, I thought, you know what? Maybe that commercial exists on YouTube. Maybe. Maybe it does. Chai chai kon si janab, lipton undaye, Chai Lee Jie, 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 Chai Lee Jie,
लिप्पन ही तो है लिप्पन लीजिए लिप्पन लीजिए लिप्पन लीजिए जी हाँ लिप्टन के मानी उमदा चाय Awesome is that? Seriously. So that was Lipton tea, um, and uh, yes, that was that's a, a vivid childhood memory for me. I doubt you remember it, but maybe you do. If you do, let me know. But basically, it's a story where he says, she says, "Do you have some tea?" He says, "Yes, we have some tea." She says, "What kind of tea do you have?" And he says, "I have Lipton tea." She says, "Give me some Lipton tea." And then he says, "I'm giving you some Lipton tea." And she says, "What kind of tea is that?" And he says, "It's Lipton." She says, "Oh, Lipton, give it to me." I mean, when we used to work in advertising, the client would often say, "Yes, what <laughs> could you say? The make the logo bigger. Make could you say the name Lipton seventy five times in a commercial? <laughs> this is a genius thing." And then when I was working in advertising, I got to work on Lipton briefly, and I always thought this is like a childhood dream come full circle. Here I am once again. I'm going to stick to drinking Lipton. Anyway. Anyway, well, this is one fun. of those things that I did to delight myself, and nobody else cares about. But that's fine. It's my show, and I'll do what I what I please. <clears throat> and with that, I thank you for joining me <laughs> and drawing tea and coffee. I hope it was your cup of tea, or possibly your cup of coffee. And um, yeah, final thoughts. Share them if you would like to. Um, if you would like to get the Hanamula Cappuccino book, which I hope you would, please write to us at info at sketchbooksschool.com. We have three of them. Carol send Ross us is here. Your, Thank you. Send us your mailing address. Send us your mailing address when you request this. We can't send you a cappuccino book through the email. You must include your mailing address. U.S. only. U.S. only. Um, I also want to say we hope that you will share your cups of tea and coffee and various ephemera. Your collections. Your collections. Please share them. Uh, I didn't put this up. And I, let me, if you give me one second, I'll just quickly put it up here. Um, but meanwhile, I'll talk about dannysessays.com, which is um, which is my weekly essay. They're and free. They're free. And, they're free. And I hope that you would like to get them. And if you would, please do. Here it is. SBS Draw With Me. If you would like to share your collection, Please put it on social media. Don't email it to info. It's don't, don't it. I mean, you can. You can, but it's, it's not a big it's, deal. It's, it's, I mean, just but share it. Share, share it with us somewhere. Yeah. On social media and put hashtag SBS Draw with me. You can share it on the schoolyard. You can share it on Instagram. You can share it on Facebook. Just let us know. We would love to see what you've made, and we'll add it to the little cavalcade that opens the show next week. So please do that. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you'd like to be notified when we do this again, which we will every Thursday. And that's about it. Yeah, we missed you last week. We missed you. We're glad to be back. It's been uh, it's been a relief. And next week we will be back in uh, Scheduled School headquarters in Phoenix, Arizona, USA. Until then, keep Have drawing. Have a great week. Keep drawing. Draw with yourself. Draw with your friends. Draw with your family. Have fun drawing. And I'll see you then. Thanks a lot.